Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday, January 29th, and for my second how-to video this week, I'm going to teach you how to tea. Just bear with me. So, your good health. This isn't actually tea. It's neocitron. I'm sick. So, um, first off, there are a bazillion and a half different kinds of tea, and I'm going to show you a few of them. I'm actually going to pull up my streaming video so I can make sure that you can see it all. So this is what chai can look like. Oh, it's actually not too bad. So it's dark and it's got little infusions and whatnot and there's lots of spices in there because chai tea is basically black tea but it has a whole bunch of, well it's an, it's an Indian form of black tea and it has a whole bunch of extra spices um, added in with the leaves. So that's chai tea. Um, we'll go, I think we'll do all the black teas first. So then we've got oolong, which is a stronger black tea. And it looks like this. This one is uh, a flavored one, so it's got extra stuff in it, but it's another very black tea, essentially. Um, and then another black tea is Assam. And Assam, ah, I have to open this up. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, you can kind of see in there. So it just it just looks like black tea. Um, let's sprinkle some out on my hand, maybe. There, looks like that. So looks like tea. Um, and those ones are the very strongly caffeinated. Those ones are the very strongly caffeinated ones. They take um, anywhere from three to five minutes to steep, depending on how strong you like your tea. I usually let mine go for five minutes. I like very strong tea. Um, you run the risk, if you go anything over five though, you do run the risk of it getting very bitter. Um, so I wouldn't recommend going anywhere above that. Um, next in the caffeine line is green that I have on me, I should say, is green. And so I have green tea here and it will look green. Um, there will be various other things in it. You'll sometimes get the powdery one, that's matcha, that's another type of green tea that's very expensive and very, very good. Um, green tea has some caffeine, not very much. Um, and it's very, very popular. Green tea is like the thing to drink right now in terms of antioxidants and all of that. It's very, very good for you. Um, and it's very, very commonly drunk in Asia. Uh, the next strongest caffeinate is white tea. I don't like a lot of white teas. Um, I find that they don't have a lot of flavor. Um, oh, sorry, I should say for green teas, for steeping, um, don't do it any more than three minutes unless you're cold brewing it, but we'll talk about that later. Um, because green tea when you're steeping hot can get very bitter very quickly. So I'd say three minutes max. Um, if you've got a more fruity one, you can go maybe three and a half, four, but just test it because you don't want bitter tea. That's just not very fun for anybody. Um, again, so white tea is next and that again, three minutes tops for steeping. Um, also very low caffeine, but again, it, because it has the actual tea leaf in it, um, it is very much, um, because it has actual tea leaves in it, it can get bitter. Um, but low caffeinated teas, um, I find tend to get bitter quicker um, than the higher caffeinated ones, or they have a better chance of getting bitter. I find personally, but it depends on the temperature of water and all of that kind of stuff as well. So in terms of non-caffeinated teas, there's quite a few varieties. I've got three of the more common varieties here. So I have a just straight herbal one. Um, I can actually smell this a little bit. This is called Pink Blossom, this one. And it's got, where are we here? Ingredients, I want English. Spearmint, chamomile, rose petals, hibiscus, lavender, calendula, and uh, corn flowers. And because it's herbal, it's completely caffeine free. And you can kind of see, it's just very flowery and pretty. And this one's really good. Um, I've, a lot of herbal teas are very, very good iced. And you add a little bit of sweetener into a pitcher and whatnot. Um, this one, again, you can probably let steep for five or longer. Um, herbal, if they have tea leaves in them, don't let them over steep. Herbal teas, you almost can't over steep. They're very, very, they don't, it takes a while to get them better. Dep again, though, depending on what's in them. Um, and then another type is just straight mint tea, and I have uh, just spearmint. I'm not a fan of straight peppermint. Um, one of my best friends prefers peppermint over spearmint. I prefer spearmint over peppermint, so I just thought that was funny. But this is just straight spearmint leaves. That's all it is. And this one... 
you can easily make yourself if you have fresh spearmint that you can dehydrate or something like that. Or fresh peppermint, really. doesn't matter. Any type of mint. And that's another one you can let steep for like four or five minutes. And then the other one here, you can kind of see, I'm almost out is rooibos. And rooibos is a red bush tea. It doesn't actually come from the tea plant. It comes from the red, the red bush plant. Um, honey bush, red bush, I believe. Um, and it is a decaffeinated. It's also decaffeinated. There's no caffeine in these. And uh, these ones, I can't drink stra straight rooibos tea. It needs to be flavored. So this one is vanilla cupcake and it's really good. Just throw in some milk and some sweetener and it's really, really good. Um, but yeah, that, those are various kinds of teas. And in terms of, I guess, uh, how to video so when you're doing black teas um, usually on the box or on the package depending on if you buy loose or not they will tell you how to um, the best way to have it so whether you should take it with um, milk or not or with sweetener or not or if you should have it hot or cold um, cold brewing is very very good very nice for the summer it takes uh, it depends on the type of tea if you're brewing a caffeinated tea it can only it, usually only takes a couple hours um, for like black tea. If you're doing an herbal or a fruit, you can do it even longer and the flavors are really, really good, especially if you're cutting it with lemonade or um, juice or you're adding some sweetener to it or pop or even or something. Um, but uh, all you need to do is um, take the amount into the, put the amount into the pitcher and you can put it in the whole thing. You just put the if you're doing it, if you're cold brewing, you're going to stick the amount that you would use. So usually a pitcher is double the size of a teapot. So you're going to put double the amount of tea that you would put in and you're going to let it sit in there. And you're going to throw it in the fridge for, if I'm doing a green tea, I usually put it in for about an hour and then I check it. And then sometimes I'll let it sit for another half hour, an hour. I usually check it about every half hour because I don't want it to get bitter. Um, if you're doing an herbal one, you can really just let it go overnight um, and it'll taste fine in the morning. And if you're finding it's a little bit bitter, add some sweetener, cut it down with some water, um, throw in some lemonade, throw in some juice, throw in some ginger ale or 7-Up or something. Um, now, there are about six, okay, one, one, two, three, I'm going to say four. There are four kind of, I'm going to say, needed things in order to have a really good um, start to building up a tea collection. So you're going to want to get at least one of these. Um, you can see they're different sizes. This is a perfect cup of teaspoon, and this is a um, pot of perfect pot of perfect teaspoon. I'm doing, sorry, this is backwards. I'm watching myself in the stream thing. It's backwards. Um, this will make you one cup of tea. This will make you a pot of tea, and it's pretty much universal across the board. You can always for herbal teas, you can usually go a little bit more. Um, but before I've had one of these, I used to do this, and I would do for the pot. A general sized pot, not an oversized one. I would do three for black and three for black, three for green, four for white and herbal and rooibos and anything like that. Anything really low or non caffeinated, I would do four. Higher caffeinated or green, because I find green can get bitter very quickly, I would do three. This pretty much replaced it. If it's herbal, I make it rounded. If it's not, I make it flat. And that's pretty much it. But you want some way to measure. Um, and you can get these at, uh, well, I saw Epicure and I ordered this one through Epicure. This one I had to order through my friend who sells tea uh, through Steeped. And um, I don't know if you can get pot ones anywhere, but the spoon ones are pretty common if you go to David's Tea or Tea Vaughn or whatever. Um, and the other things I will recommend, some form of basket for holding your leaves. Um, balls are okay, but they're they, they, can be, they can be finicky and they can be difficult to clean. I find the brewing baskets easier. Um, and this one it, you can see it's been used, it's full, it's all stained and whatnot. It, I use it almost every day. And it just sits, and then when it's done steeping, you take the lid off, and you sit it, and then it can drip into one other, and then when it's dry, you can just clean it out. Um, if you're not a fan of that, or you don't like the idea of tea balls, you can do sachets. And I'll pull one out to show you. Um, different companies call them different things, um, but essentially they are some form of papery thing. Again, you can get these at Tivana, David's Tea, um, any any company that sells tea will usually sell these. You can find them at um, grocery stores too sometimes. And they're just a little baggy. And you dump the loose tea in there, you shake it to the bottom, and then you can just either fold it over the edge 
of the pot or the cup, or if you want to get fancy, you take the teaspoon that you're going to be stirring with and you just roll it over the top and you sit it on the top of your mug and then you add your sugar, you stir it, and then you take it out. And the last thing I would suggest that you get, um, two things, uh, a kettle, a good kettle, one where you can all somewhat accurately judge the temperature if you're going to be really anal retentive about your teas because um, I'll give you an example. I have the window open. That's not the window. This is the window I want to open. Um, so white tea, it needs to be 65 to 70 degrees Celsius, uh, which is 149 to 158 Fahrenheit. Whereas green tea, you want hotter, 167 to 176 Fahrenheit. Black tea, you want 210 Fahrenheit. Um, so it, it's, it's very, so if you aren't doing it at hot, you're not getting the full flavor of your tea. And that's not always a good thing. Uh, more neocitron. A shot of Buckley's and a mug full of neocitron, man, I'm a party girl. And the last thing I would say is you're going to need at least two teapots. Um, if you're having tea on a regular basis, do not use the same teapot for herbals or very lightly caffeinated teas and black teas. Because the black teas, if you're doing it properly and you're not washing your teapots, because you're not supposed to wash your teapots, you're just supposed to rinse them out with very hot water, um, it builds up like sediment on the sides and it adds really adds to good black tea. To black tea it adds amazing flavor and it's really nice. But if you make herbal tea in that, or if you do a black tea in your herbal pot and then you make herbal tea, your herbal tea will come out very, very dark and the taste will be really wonky. So don't mix that. Um, but aside from that, that's pretty much how I would tell you how to tea. It's uh, a lot of fun. My tea cupboard is about eh, eh, this big. So it's, it's about the size of Oh geez, okay, if you were to stack a 360, for all my gaming people out there, if you were, it's about the size of a computer tower. Um, it's about the size, yeah, it's about the size of a regular computer tower. Um, or you could say if you stack a 360 on top of a PlayStation and throw in a couple Wii's on the side. Um, but yeah, it's about the size of a bigger computer tower. Um, and it's just, it's massive and it's deep and it's just, it's full, completely full of tea. And I love tea, it's one of my favorite things to drink. It's, I, I love it, I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, so that, is how I will tell you how to tea. Um, I hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you have any questions about types of tea or brewing times or where to get supplies or how to have specific kinds of tea, leave your comments down below. I love tea and I love telling people about tea. So if you have any questions about, should I have milk with this tea? Should I not have milk with this tea? What should I use to sweeten? Uh, what's the brewing time on this? Just leave your comments down below. Anywho, thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.